Hey there, happy coders, and welcome to another Let's Code video where I normally spend, I don't know, somewhere between 15 minutes and two hours uh, playing around with whatever project of the day I have in mind. So um, you can either, you know, code along with me or um, just watch and I'll share the code at the end. But today I have what I'm hoping will be kind of a quick one um, where I want to play with the idea of if statements and maybe make a sketch in P5 that shows a different message depending on what time of day it is. Um, so go and uh, read up on if statements on happycoding.io and then you know come back and we can get into it. Um, so to start, I'm going to open up my P5 editor like I always do. And here it is. It gives me the um, code editor on the left. And then if I hit the play button here, I get my, um, my canvas over here on the right. Now by default, it's just showing gray, but that means that we can, we can add our stuff to it. Um, so what I want to do eventually is have something like an if statement that says like, if it's morning, then say good morning. If it's nighttime, then say good night or something like that. Um, I think that there might be something in the P5 reference that's, that helps me. I honestly don't remember off the top of my head. I'll either have to do it in, you know, from P5 or from JavaScript, uh, either one's doable, but I think P5 gives us something, um, like time of day or something like time. Yeah. Yeah. These things. So I can get day, hour, minute, month down to second. I think I probably only care about hour, maybe minute. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure that this, yeah, okay, it gives you the current hour as a value from 0 to 23. So midnight is 0. Um, what time is it right now? It's noon, noon 19. So that would be, what, 12, 12, 19? I guess we can just print it out and see, right? Um, so let's try that. So let's say like text, um, hour, and then it doesn't really matter since this is kind of just throwaway code. Let me put it kind of in the middle. Let's just see what this does. So, okay, yeah, yeah the... the the text, uh, the, the hour is 12, and that indeed matches the actual time. I didn't know if it was going to be like a one-off or something, but looks like it's right, which now I'm thinking about it, it makes sense. Um, just for fun, let's do like minute, and maybe let's put that at, I don't know, 220, 200, something like that. Actually, let me make this a bit bigger since it's probably really hard to see um, in the video. I don't know. Who cares what the number is? I think that's the right number or the right function. Yeah, okay, so interesting. So I've got, um, oh, I think that, that's funny that I think there's overlap. So I think right now it's 12, 20. So I think it's 12 and then 20 with the two having some overlap, that's goofy. Um, I bet if we sit here for a minute, it'll, it'll change. Um, yeah, there it goes. Um, so it's 12, 21, just coincidentally, I, I chose a number that had them overlapping. So let me maybe move that over so yeah and we could maybe say like text actually you know maybe there's a, an easier way to do this if I want to format it so what I can do is like hour plus um, so I like to treat it as string so I'll say like plus uh, maybe a semicolon or not a semicolon just a colon and then plus plus minute so that'll kind of automatically format it as a time so 1221 and you know we could get really really into it and say like maybe I want the seconds as well or maybe it's just second oh or maybe I need to format my string properly huh nope okay maybe that was wrong uh, so I'll go back to the reference and oh just second singular okay yeah I guess that matches the the rest of them okay so let's see what this does so yeah okay you got 12, 22, and then the, the seconds. And it's formatted, like if it's just a single digit, it's not like 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. But um, I don't care. I don't, I don't think I'm ever actually going to show the seconds. So we could get into formatting numbers as strings. We could go to like the number format functions here. But I don't, I don't think I actually care for, for what I want to do. Mostly I just wanted to confirm that these functions work the way that I... Uh, sort of expected and indeed they do um, hour gives me the the proper hour of the of the day um, 
Cool, okay, so now what I can do is something like, so I can maybe have an if statement that's like if our, and what do I want this to be? So maybe I'll start just with like a couple cases. So I'll say like if our is before noon, then I want to say good morning. For now, I'll just write a comment to remind myself of, of what I'm doing. And do I need this anymore? I probably don't, but maybe let's put it, um, let's maybe format it a little nicer, a little bit more intentionally. So maybe I'll put it at like, um, maybe width over two and maybe like height times 0.25, height times 0.25. So like kind of up here-ish. Um, while I'm here, I'll say times 0.5, just to make it kind of the same thing. Second, I think I'm gonna get rid of because I don't, I don't care about it. Okay, so let's just see what that does. Just moves it over, okay. Um, I'll fill around with formatting in a second, but I just wanted it just to, just so I could see what time it was as I'm coding. Um, okay, so now I have this if statement that says if hour is less than 12, then right now it's just a comment, good morning. So what I could do is say like text, um, I don't know, good morning. And I can put that, you know, maybe I'd set width times 0.5, maybe height times 0.5. So maybe this one's in the middle. Um, so let's try that. Although, yeah, okay, let's try this, run this, and nothing happened <laughs> uh, because it's after 12. It's not good morning right now. It's the afternoon. Um, so a couple things I could do. That's uh, going to probably get annoying to watch, but I could test this out by changing my system time somehow. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I do that? Oh, my goodness. Adjust date time. Yeah, it's going to be really annoying to watch. Set time automatically off. Time. Tell me. Give me the setting. Date and time. Set the time manually. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so annoying. Uh, so let's make it. Oh my goodness, is this really the UI? That's hilarious. Let's make it 9.24 a.m., sure. And let me, can I minimize this? No, of course I can't. Great, thanks Windows. Uh, so I'm gonna change it, so like check out the, the clock in the lower right corner. And now it's 9.24 a.m., so if I go back to my sketch, it does what? It does not update, why not? Hmm. So that's interesting. I would have thought that that would work because draw is being called 60 times a second. And so I would think that this hour function would have, you know, gotten the hour from my computer, which is indeed nine here. Hmm, that's weird. I'm tempted to, hmm. So I wonder what happens if I, if I rerun it. Oh, interesting. P5. P5 is too smart. P5 is too smart for my tricks. 9.25 a.m. My computer does indeed think it's 9.24 a.m. 9.25. Oh, wait. There it went. Oh, something's weird. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's going to be really annoying to test. Because apparently you have to wait a bit for it to... to get the time from from your system 926 okay fine all right maybe it just takes a second to uh like propagate through from the system time to the browser to javascript that's kind of my guess but the long and short of it is it worked so we have we have good morning here it's a little off center, so I can fix that. Maybe I'll do that up here by saying like text mode, I think it's called, or maybe it's text align. I, I never remember some of these, these text functions. So let's look that up. Text align, okay. And that takes one or two parameters. Okay, I'm just gonna do center, center, I think. Text align, center, center. Make my life a little easier instead of like calculating where my X position needs to be. I'll just say, hey, P5, can you center this for me? And P5 will do that for me. So, okay, I've got 926 and it says good morning. Okay, and like we checked earlier, it doesn't uh, show this message if it's, you know, if it's not in the morning. Um, so let's maybe put this back. Um, let's see, let's test this out again. I, I actually don't know how this works. So set time automatic. I'm just gonna turn this, eh, maybe I'll change it manually. I'm also gonna just forget what time it is in real life, so. 
bear with me. So let's say it's, um, oh my God, why? <laughs> this UI is hilarious. All right, let's just say it's 12, 27 p.m., which I think might actually be right. So let's change it and let's just see like what happens in what order. So I hit change, the clock immediately changes. Uh, okay, P5 takes an unknown number of seconds apparently, but whatever, that seemed to have worked. And now we see 1227 and we don't see the text good morning because it's not morning, it's 1227, it's, the, it's, it's afternoon. So maybe what I'll do is have an else statement here, an else block that says maybe, um, good afternoon, maybe, and let's put it in the same place, just put it right in the middle, 0.5 height times 0.5, and let me run this, and so now we see that we only see good afternoon, we don't see good morning, because hour is indeed greater than or equal to 12. Cool, and we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we have like, you know, two cases here. We have, it's either morning or afternoon, but in, 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 in real life, that's not how time works. Uh, there are, you know, more, more times of day than just morning and afternoon. So let's see what would happen if I change my time to, where'd that go? To, uh, maybe 10, maybe 9, 28 PM. Okay. And change that. And P5 updates in some unknown number of seconds. Let's actually look. So my system time updated. So weird. I don't actually know. I don't actually know what triggers the, the update. I'm tempted to do a search for it, but I think it'll lead me down into the rabbit hole of how, how browsers work. And that doesn't sound fun to me at all. Um, I bet it changes when the minute changes. That's my, that's my theory. No, the minute just changed. What the heck? <laughs> all right, maybe not. Maybe let's hit run again. Okay, so I don't know. There's something weird happening about when P5 updates, but all right, it's 2129, which is like the, you know, the 24 hour clock time. If, if it's 9 p.m., it's actually 21. What is happening? I, my computer's very upset with me. It does not like me changing the time. Whatever, go away. <laughs> God. Um, so this is right. I think since my computer thinks it's 9, 29 p.m., 21 is the is the proper hour. But it's still saying good afternoon, even though it thinks it's 9.30 at night. So what we can do is maybe say something like, um, have, a, have an intermediate uh, check here. So like else if maybe hour is less than, oh, I don't know. Um, what, what what would you say is the time like when it stops being afternoon and starts being evening? Maybe four. Let's go with four, uh, which will actually be sixteen, right? So four p.m. is sixteen hours into the day, and can maybe clean some of this up a little bit. So what we really want is this afternoon to be here. And this will be like, good evening, maybe. So if I read through the, well, thank you so much. So important for me to know that. Oh my God, go away. Um, anyway, if I read through the code and I look at kind of what it's doing. So I say, if hour is less than 12, then I print out good morning. Else if the hour is less than 16, which at this point, means that it's between 12 and 16 because we know the hour is not less than 12 therefore it must be more than um, more than 12 or equal to 12. Um, so when I do this else if we can already assume that this is this is parts not true so I don't have to do like hour is greater than or equal to 12 and like I don't have to have this part because we already know that's true. So at this point, we know that the hour is between noon and 16, which is 4 p.m. So I print out good afternoon. And otherwise, then we know that it's greater than or equal to 16, which is 4 p.m. So then it'll print good evening. And my computer thinks that it's 9.30 p.m. right now, 21.31. And let's run this and see. It says good evening. Yay. Um, 
So from here, let's see. So right now I go until 4 p.m. Then I say good evening. But let's see. So let's say it's like 9, 9.30. You know, saying good evening at 9.30 is probably fine. Um, but I don't know. If it's like 1 a.m., then, then do I want to still say good evening? And, you know, probably not. Probably not. I don't know. It's up to you and your, your sleep schedules. If you consider 1, 1 a.m. to be evening, then sure. Maybe that's how your code should should behave. But... For me, I think I'll call like anything after midnight would be like really late at night. So maybe what I'll do. So I'm thinking about how where to where to put this logic. So I could maybe do something similar where I say like else if hour is less than uh, what's it going to be like less than something like 23, which takes us to 11. But then midnight is zero. So what I really want is like the hours between say, I don't know, midnight and maybe 5 a.m. to be like really late at night, maybe 4 a.m. So what I actually wanna do is maybe have another if statement here. It says like if hour is less than, let's say five, 5 a.m. Um, if it's before 5 a.m., then I'm going to do something. For now, I'm just gonna a comment and clean up the rest of this so um, I only want to say good morning if hour is between say 5 and 12 so I'll make this an else if clean it up a little bit um, yeah so just to get something working maybe I'll just steal some of this code and change it real quick so I'll say hours less than five. So what do I want to say if I, for some reason, look at this between the hours of midnight and five? Maybe I'll say like, go to sleep, <laughs> something like that. Um, so if I look at it between the hours of, of zero, which is midnight and five, then it says go to sleep. Um, if it's between five and noon, I'll say good morning. If it's between noon and 4 p.m., I'll say good afternoon. Otherwise, it's between 4, uh, 4 p.m. and midnight, and I'll say good evening. So I don't think anything will change here because I haven't changed my system time, but just for fun, let's make it... Uh, oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Let's make it um, 2.30 a.m. Change. And my system time changed down here, and P5 is going to take an unknown amount of time. I actually don't think it's P5's fault. I think it's probably something in the browser, something in JavaScript itself. Um, rerunning it seems to have done something, but I could be making that up as well. So after some unknown number of seconds, this should change to 2 a.m., and we should see go to sleep. There it is. Okay. So it just takes a minute. I don't know. Um, but I see go to sleep. Okay. Cool. So I think I have my my core logic working. I think my if statements are signed kind of in place and you know they work fine. Um, so what I can do now is like maybe clean the code up a little bit. So I'll run tidy code and it'll format it for me. Um, good enough. Um, but right now it's kind of kind of boring. It really just shows the time and then and then a message. So I could maybe dress it up a little bit. So like right now I say background of gray all the time. So what I could do is like background, you know, maybe this is like background of darker and um, good morning would be like background of something like, I don't know, RGB, maybe like light blue, something like that, blue green. Um, you know, add colors, maybe change the color of text, you know, play with it that way. So this will be black. Oh, well, the text color is going to be off. Um, mm, 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 mm. But before I get too, too involved in that, maybe what I'll do is um, maybe, maybe factor these out into functions. Yeah, so what I'll do, right now I have one draw function that has an if statement that's kind of complicated has like one two three four different cases and then you know i could make the code inside each of those if statements more more complex and it would work that would be fine but it would also kind of it would probably be hard to hard to deal with hard to 
hard to maintain, hard to fix if something goes wrong. So I think what I'll do is maybe I'll define some other functions, so like draw uh, late night, maybe. And then what I'll do is move this code into that function. So now I have a draw late night function, which will do you know something, we can change it. But I can call that function now, draw late night. And right now our computer thinks it's 2.37 a.m., so we're still in there. So I'm gonna run this just to make sure that nothing has changed. Um, I lost my time, but that's only because I'm, I'm redrawing the background. So, um, hmm. I could maybe just draw this last now, since I'll always draw some kind of message and then I'll draw the, um, then I'll draw the time, sure, that, that'll probably work. Um, but I think my goal is to kind of just factor this out a little bit. So what else do we have? We have morning, so maybe I'll have like function draw morning, and I will steal this code. Do, do, do. And I'll do kind of the same exact thing for each case, uh, draw morning. I'll fix the formatting in a second, but draw, what is it, afternoon, afternoon. So I'm, I'm just moving my logic around so that it's kind of easier to work with, easier to read, maybe easier to change and, and play around with. Um, so it kind of comes down to personal preference, but the idea is to make it make it easier on myself um, to, to deal with the code. Rather than having everything in one big if statement, I can organize it a little bit better. So what was the last one, evening, I think? So I'll have a function called draw evening, which just does this for now, but we're gonna play around with it in a second. All right, draw evening. So I'm gonna run this just to make sure that none of my syntax is too broken. It seems to work. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so okay, maybe I'll just go through in order, start with like draw late night, and maybe I'll say like, this is gonna be what? It's gonna be like, background of, I, I want it to be kind of dark, so 32 is one of my go-tos, but like I like we saw earlier, once you do that, you kind of lose the the font or the, 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 the text because it's too dark, so maybe I'll say like, I never remember which one this is, it might be both actually, but um, let's say stroke of, I don't know, make it pure white for now. Yeah, it does that, P5 does a weird thing where it like has a stroke and a fill for the for text, which I always thought was weird, but yeah, whatever. Um, so I'll do fill of 255. So, okay, maybe just to play around with it. I'm not gonna play with this too much. Uh, this is one of my, uh, maybe I'll make it a New Year's resolution to stop playing with um, all these parameters on, on camera. Um, but I think no stroke is fine uh, for what I, for, for how I want this to work. So I think I'll always do that. So I'll move that up in the setup. Okay. So we've got background of dark and fill of, of 255, which I think looks fine. If it's nighttime, then okay. Maybe for funsies, I'll, hmm, what do I wanna do? We wanna add an emoji just, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So what I can do is like text of, oh, I'm thinking in Java, I'm doing double quotes. It doesn't actually matter, but I kind of prefer single quotes in JavaScript. So what I'll do is I'll have an emoji and I'll maybe put that in the center as well since my text is um, centered and I'll put it down like towards the bottom height times 0.75 I'll let p5 add the zeros later and I want an emoji I don't know sleepy emoji sleep emoji uh, that one's cute I don't like the I don't like that one that one's gross but what we'll have is an emoji towards the bottom yeah okay that's kind of cute I like that I'm gonna make it a little bigger so let me bring this text size down so what do I got? I got fill, I got text size here and text size here. I always use points even though it's pixels. I'm old, but that's pretty cute. I like that. Um, so if I look at my computer at 2.41 a.m., it's gonna say, go to sleep. And it'll encourage me with a cute little, um, uh, what a cute little emoji. And okay, I'm into that, I like that. Okay, so let's kind of just work through this. Um, I have literally no idea how long I've been going because I've changed my time too many times, and so I have no concept of what, what time it actually is anymore. 
Uh, so let's just keep going. Um, so what do I want next? So it's now I want it to be like after my after 5 a.m. So whoops, keep doing that. Um, change it to 7:41 a.m. Change and see, there's something goofy. Like my system time is 7:41. But like P5 changed to 7.42, like first. There's something goofy going on. I don't quite understand how system time works with browsers, but that's fine, whatever. Um, so a couple things are happening. One, I think that my good morning is, is way too big. And the other thing is the background change. But actually, that's fine. The background changing is okay. I, that's That's kind of intended. This is the... The value that I picked earlier. So uh, the only thing I'm going to change maybe is I'll say text size 36 down here to kind of reset it. Yeah, okay. Oh, and, and the other thing is, okay, I see. Um, so basically what happens is because the sketch had just been running continuously, like, and it had been calling draw late night based on the if statements, um, the fill was white and uh, and the text was large so like I kind of have to set these each time in each function and that's that's fine that, that works so that like no matter when you start the sketch it, it'll it'll always know the proper colors to draw so I'll say background fill text size 36 text and then I want maybe a different emoji in the morning and as I'm writing this code I realize that maybe some of this should go in its its own function um, Maybe, we'll see, I'll think about that in a second. So I've got good morning, now I need a morning emoji. I don't know, what's a morning emoji? Okay, I've got, what is this? Sunrise over mountains, sunrise, just sunrise. I mean, I could do both really. Uh, let's do, let's just do sunrise. I'm, I'm on the west coast, so wait, no, that would be sunset. I should probably choose mountains then, but that's fine. <laughs> good morning. I don't know, now I'm curious, what do the mountains look like? Yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, again, that's that's one of the things you can play with. Pick a different emoji, go nuts. Um, for me, the, this is working, so I'm going to be happy with it. Um, then, what do I want to do next? So, I think I'm, I'm good with the uh, the color, the white on blue. Looks looks good to me. Um, I think that might change if I get into good afternoon. So, what's a good afternoon color? Um, I don't know. What, what happens if I search it? Afternoon color. Okay, blue, bluish, yellowish, maybe, maybe a yellow. Yeah, okay, let's go with like a yellow. So, um, what I want to do is maybe have a background. And I'll make it RG, which is going to be yellow. It's going to be real bright yellow. And um, change my time so that I can see if that works. So now I want it to be what, like 1 p.m., 1:45 p.m. Change. All right, I'm gonna pay attention to this. So like, down here it says 7:45 a.m. 7:45 a.m. I want to change this. Okay, now it's 1:45. I'm gonna stare at this a little bit. When does P5 get it? It might be at the minute. So we would have to wait 40 seconds. That seems too long. Um, but let's think about what I want to do. So what, what do I expect to happen? Well, nothing actually, because I haven't rerun this code. So like, even though I've changed it, I don't think that it'll actually um, change the background yet. So I'm going to have to rerun the sketch, but I just want to check something uh, once it changes, which, yeah, there you go. Okay, so it's not at the minute. That's so weird. Um, but we have the same kind of issue where like because the last thing I did when I drew the morning um, message was I set the text size to 72 to make the emoji really big and so now because the first thing I'm doing is drawing the text I the text size is still 72 which is why it's so so big um, and you know it's personal preference and stuff you can make your text bigger smaller whatever you want but for me I want them to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to say 
um, text size of 36 and I want to maybe think about my my fill color in a second so now I see good afternoon and I don't know the black is okay so maybe I'll stick with that maybe I'll just say fill of zero because if I start running the sketch in the morning and it sets the fill to 255 which is white and then it changes to afternoon it's going to stay that way it's going to stay white unless I set the fill to zero here so now it'll be black no matter you know whether you start running in the morning or the afternoon or whatever um, okay cool that it seems to be okay maybe maybe I don't know the, that yellow is super bright so it's an afternoon emoji. Let's see, does it, I don't know, can I just type afternoon? No, <laughs> I could just say noon, that's really funny. Um, well, it's an afternoon emoji. What do you do in the afternoon? I don't know, you take a nap. Do you go on a run? Do you, yeah, let's go with a run. I should go on a run today. Good afternoon. Uh, but again, you know, choose whatever emoji makes sense to you. If going on a run sounds like too much or maybe not enough, I don't know. Uh, you know, choose, choose your own emoji to represent afternoon. But for me, it's 147. Ooh, here's an interesting thing. So, uh, you know, I don't think in terms of 24-hour clocks, like if it was actually 147 p.m., I would want it to say 147. I wouldn't necessarily want it to say 1347. So maybe I'll maybe I'll think about fixing that in a second. But let's just maybe do do the last one. So evening, let me get to setting my time ahead of time this time. So one, let's say 8.48 p.m. change. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so what do I want to happen when it's evening? So I think the pattern is going to be pretty much the same where I set my text size and my fill color and my background. So I'm going to just steal some of this code. So... What I want it to be in the evening, I think maybe like a dark blue. So like RGB, so it's going to be like 0, 0, I don't know, 100 or so, something like that. 0, 0, I don't know, 100. So RGB. Fill, yeah, same kind of thing happens um, when it switches over because I haven't set these values yet. I haven't rerun my code actually. So um, well, I'll get to that in a second. So I've set my background to like a dark blue. Let me just run this. And yeah, okay. Uh, the fill is, you know, again, it's kind of dark on dark, so I'll, I'll set the fill color to white so we can see it. Good evening, cool, cool, cool. And then I want a nice little evening emoji. So what I'll do is maybe have an emoji of, I don't know if it's weird, it's a zero width joiner thing, that's, that's funny. Um, what do I want, evening? Maybe night time. Yeah, okay. Night with stars? Bridge at night? Milky Way. I mean, it's very nighttime. Okay, well, let's do, I don't know, night with stars. Sure. Doesn't actually matter. But there you go. Cool. Okay. I, I don't hate that. It's interesting that it gets like a black outline. I wonder if there's a way for me to change that, but nah, that's a different video. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think there are maybe two things that I would still want to play with. One is this time, so it says 20, um, and I want it to say whatever time, 8, 8 p.m. So is there like a format time function in here? I don't think there is. NF, NF, I, don't, I never remember what these are. Um, number format, I think this is comma, this is, what is this, spaces maybe? Yeah, spaces, and the other one is, you know, it's not going to be what I want. Um, what is this? Positive, maybe? Yeah, it's, it adds the plus sign. Okay, um, so yeah, there's not like a format time function. I'm sure there is in JavaScript, so I could do a search for like JavaScript format time. And it seems like a lot of work, though. Um, so I think what I'll do instead is, let's see if this pattern will hold. So if the time is what? If it's more than 12, more than 13, do I just subtract 12? So if it's 20, it's 8. If it's 21, it's 9. Yeah, okay. What if it's 13? Then it's 1. What if it's 12? Then I should just leave it at 12. So I think it's if it's greater than 12, then I subtract 12. 
I think there might be a weird thing around midnight, but that's okay. Let's let's figure it out one one step at a time. So what I'll maybe do is say like let our time formatted hour formatted hour equals hour just to start with and then I'll say like if and what if hour is greater than 12 then formatted hour equals hour minus 12 is that right and then I want to use formatted hour here okay okay maybe so let's run this and that should change to eight. I think it I think it works. Um, there's a oh my god. The tree trimming thing, a mulcher thing right outside my window. I'm sure that's making for some lovely acoustics. Um whatever. Um that seems to work. Um and I think that'll that'll work all the way up to like if it's 2359 that will change to 1159. Um, if it's midnight, it'll still be zero. So what I could do is maybe say like, if hour equals zero, then um, hour equals 12, something like that. Although no, I don't want that because, oh, formatted hour, formatted hour. Uh, formatted hour. equals 12 so that's midnight and then maybe here I'll say like else if is this right let's think about this so I get my formatted hour by default I'm just gonna say uh, it's the hour um, unless the hour is zero which really means that my hour is is midnight so I'll say formatted hour is 12 otherwise uh, I check if hour is greater than 12 which means it's in the afternoon which means I'm going to get numbers like 13 14 15 then I subtract 12. And the only place I use formatted hour is here. I don't use it like down here or anything, so I don't have to worry about that too much. And I don't use it in my if statement here either. Okay, cool. Then I think I think that would work. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty, pretty confident about that. So, okay. Um, so that's the one thing I wanted to play with, just formatting the time a little bit more more nicely. You could maybe say like, oh, I want it to be 0853. And if you do, then check out maybe these NF, uh, NFC, NFP, NFS. One of those functions will help you. Uh, but for me, eh, I think it's fine. Um, you could also add the AM and PM. Um, you know, that, that'd be another if statement that says if hour is greater than 12, then you maybe add a PM here or you add a, an AM here, but for me, I think it's okay. And like I said, I'm trying to not fiddle around with every single option and leave some of that up to up to y'all. Um, the other thing I wanted to play with, and I, th I think this will be the last thing I want to play with, is something related to factoring factoring these functions. So I've already factored my logic into these separate functions. So like if I say draw late night, you know that logic's not directly in my draw function anymore that's its own standalone thing that i can kind of think about just by itself so if i don't know if i wanted to start drawing a moon but only when it's late night i would only have to change this function and i wouldn't have to worry about the others um, but i think there's another layer of of refactoring i could do uh, because so much of this code is the same i always set a background i always set a fill color i always set a text size and a lot of them are actually the, the identical numbers as well what I might do is create another helper function, something like draw, um, I don't know, draw draw time message, draw time message, something like that. I don't know, you can come up with your own name. And then I want to refactor some of this and I want this to take arguments. So what do I want this to be? Um, I think maybe I'll keep the background as separate, I don't know, this is debatable. Um, so maybe I'll just start with stuff that I know I wanna do. So like, um, maybe I'll start with message and emoji, right? And those I always know that I want to be, they always have the same text size. So here the only thing I change is message and here the only thing I change is emoji. So they always have the same text size, they're always drawn the same spot. So those are relatively straightforward, so 
uh, where do I want that? I want like here. So draw time message, and maybe I say good evening. I'm just kind of taking what I already did here and um, passing it as parameters in in there. Comma that emoji in a string. Okay, okay, okay. So now my my draw evening function becomes quite a bit simpler because I've, I've kind of moved the core logic into a different function. So let's run this and see what happens. All right, still works. Nothing, nothing broke too horribly. Um, and I could do this exact same thing. So something like draw evening or draw, uh, sorry, what did I call that? Draw time message, draw time message, and I'll give it good afternoon. And I'll give it my running emoji, which maybe I'll do if there's going to be um, 17 different noisy things outside my window. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, and then, you know, the same thing. I think you probably can guess at the pattern here. So draw time message, and this one's going to get good morning, and this one's going to get my sunrise emoji. And I can clean all this code up. Right. And all right, I just have one more. So let me just real quick draw time message, and this one was go to sleep, go to sleep with an emoji of sleepy face. Okay, and I can delete all that code. One of my favorite things to do as a coder is, is deleting code. It's always so satisfying. Um, anyway, let's clean that up a little bit. Okay, let's look through this and just kind of do a, do a last check. So, and actually let me maybe put my time back to the real time. Set time automatically, sure, 12.59. PM. And we'll just let that sit there for a minute. Um, but what I do is in my draw function, actually I can get rid of this background, I think, because I always draw my own background. In my draw function, I check the current time, and based on the current time, using this kind of if, else, if, else, if, else block, I either, you know, I call one of my functions. I either call draw late night, draw morning, draw afternoon, draw evening. And my draw function itself does not need to care about what those functions do. It's, it's very similar to how, like if I want to draw a circle, I don't have to care what, how that works internally. I don't know if it's drawing it pixel by pixel or like calling other functions that somehow magically do it. I, I honestly don't know. Um, and I don't need to know because that's kind of the power of, of calling these functions. Um, but anyway, my draw function doesn't, doesn't care. It just calls the right function based on the current time has its whole job. And then um, it formats the hour into, oh dear, oh my goodness, it's, that's, <laughs> that's what it says for one o'clock. Okay, so maybe I'll fix this. <laughs> this is funny. Um, so maybe I need to format the minute. Um, I'll do that in a second. Um, actually, let me do that now, because whatever. Um, but I think this is actually, I, I've talked about these a couple times, um, so I think this will be a good example of, of using this. Um, what do I want? I want NF and then to the left of the decimal point. Yeah, I think I want that NF number format and always make it two. So I'll say like const uh, what formatted minute equals NF uh, minute and then two. So like always make it two uh, digits. So if it's <laughs> if it's one, then I want it to be O one zero one. Um, I think this will work. P5, my, my request to you is that you preserve my white space when you tidy the code, oh my goodness. Um, but anyway, uh, so I've got my formatted minute, let's just see if that did it. It did, okay, cool, 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 cool. So anyway, um, back to my draw function, I, I call the proper like draw, draw late night, draw morning, draw afternoon, draw evening function, which again, don't have to worry about what, what that looks like internally, at least not yet. Uh, then I format both my hour and my minute, which we just looked at, and I and I also print that to the screen. I do that last just because that lets me put my background color in the individual like draw afternoon, draw evening um, functions, but um, it's still drawn like towards the top, so it's all good. Anyway, then in my um, in my draw late night, draw morning functions, I set a background color, I set a fill color. And then I say draw time message. I could maybe move the background color and the fill color into that draw time message, 
but eh, whatever I think it's diminishing returns um, but then the the shared logic is sort of in this draw time message where I always draw a message in the middle I always draw an emoji sort of towards the bottom and there we go um, so this is what this is kind of what I what I set out to do so I think I'm going to kind of stop here I'll say that like you know what I might do if I was feeling a little bit more, more I don't know if I, was, if I was this is one thing you could do is how do I share this uh, share and oh yeah this recently changed but can I do this so you know maybe what I would do is set something like this as my home page you know so that whenever I open up my browser I get a nice little message that I wrote to myself and you know, I think that would be just kind of a cool thing, kind of better than just the default, you know, whatever your default search engine is. Um, so that, that's one thing that you could do with this kind of thing. I've seen other other kind of screen savers and, and like operating system features that kind of do something similar, but I don't know, whenever possible, I kind of like to do things myself. But so that's one thing you could play with. Um, you could also play with, you know, many of these things were kind of arbitrary choices based on me and not wanting to think too hard about stuff so like i split my day up into late night morning afternoon evening i don't know what your day looks like maybe you split it into like when you're at school or when you're at work versus when you're at home or if you have a set schedule of like maybe you eat dinner in the same hour every every uh, day and um you know for me that'd be like 8 p.m so like maybe i would have a check in here that says if it's eight o'clock then say enjoy your dinner or something like that um but customizing like the times is one thing you could play with. Um, you could also play with you know what you print out during those times. So I chose this gaudy bright yellow uh, thing for afternoon, but you know maybe that's not what your afternoons feel like. So feel free to to choose a different color, choose a different emoji, different messages, all that good stuff. That's kind of the fun of creative coding. Is now that you have this this base you can change it however you want and make it kind of personal to you. But I think this is this is good for me. It's reminding me that I need to go on a run. I think I guess maybe I'll go do that. <laughs> hey, it worked. That's really funny. Um, but I think this is good for, for what I set out to do. So if you've stuck around, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So if you have questions or if you've taken this code and you've made it your own and you have your own you know, uh, greeting program, I'd love to hear from you, so either leave a comment down in the dreaded YouTube comment section, or better yet, come to happycoding.io, come to our forum, and this is where I hang out, so I'd love to hear from you, so come here and post whatever you're creating, whatever you're working on, um, whatever questions you have, and this is kind of the best way to reach me. And of course, it's always slow when I try to go to it on, on camera, but it won't be slow when you go to it, I promise. Or maybe it will be. Who knows? He's broken. Maybe I've reset my time so many times that my computer has refused to work. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Forum.happycoding.io. Come, come say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but with that, I'll say thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, late night, whatever time it is for you. Have a great one. And as always, of course, happy coding.